Hey Aquarius, it's on your 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for June 2021. Some will rise to be in a sign. Let's go ahead and jump in with each other. Aquarius. Okay, spiritual warrior. Empower yourself here. Let's see what your spirit team wants you to know here this week, Aquarius. What message do you have here for Aquarius to speak spirit? What would you like them to know? They're saying stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. They're saying trust in the process. <laughs> okay. And believe in yourself, basically. Okay. Trust in the process and believe in yourself. So, um... <clears throat> Some of you guys are doubting your abilities right now at this moment. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, your spirit team wants you to know that they definitely have your best interests in mind here during these changes that you are going through. Get out one more deck here. What other messages do you have here for Aquarius? They're also saying it's safe for you to make the move that you are trying to make at this moment. So you're thinking about doing something. Uh, you may be questioning yourself or questioning the steps you're about to take here. Uh, but I feel like um, they're wanting you to be strong here. They're saying... Um, if your place is one of integrity here, you will be successful in this change here. You have the Justice card coming out and the Empress card here as well. <laughs> There's your Empress card. The High Priestess is coming in. We're going to get all your cards out here. Ooh. Okay, there's quite a bit of eight <laughs> that's moving in here towards you, okay? So I just feel like the Strength card is somewhere... Um, trying to creep into your reading i'm just seeing it in my mind's eye here okay the strength card okay they want you to have courage to go towards something new okay um or leave something behind that's what i'm feeling here all right um so there's this need for you to practice self-care right now at this moment like something may have been hurting you or something may um be ment mentally challenging you right now at this moment it could be a person place or situation that you are dealing with here okay that's mentally challenging you but let's see what your card is saying finances okay financial challenges are affecting this connection here okay someone's wanting something from you wanting you to oh they're saying someone's very dependent upon you financially here okay and there's uh, this need for you guys to break free from this energy here okay they're saying you are safe now it's safe to relax You've been through a major ordeal here, Aquarius, and you've been amazing. You've handled it all, but as a consequence, you've learned to live on high alert. This needs to change. Your mind needs peace and your body needs to relax and repair. This card brings a message. You are safe now. It is okay to relax here, okay? Like someone's not going to financially drain you anymore or emotionally drain you anymore here, okay? You have Vesta coming in um to your reading the goddess within your sacred spiritual center and quiet dignity here this is the energy that you hold inside uh especially with the emperor's card that's coming in here as well they want you to know how powerful you are this is what i was saying in the beginning of your reading okay you may be doubting your ability to um the power you have within yourself here, okay? They want you to have patience during this change, okay? They're saying everything will unfold in divine 
timing here, okay? And trust the universe, trust the process here. Sometimes we can strive relentlessly to make something happen and then experience huge disappointment when our efforts do not work out. Whilst action on our part is required, patience is needed during this change, okay? Um, and they're saying if we are too determined to stay on one course only, we inadvertently block ourselves from the guidance, okay? Uh, that's coming in towards us or that's here for us, okay? So they want you to focus on a new direction that the universe is trying to bring to you right now. They're saying it, this is a time to trust and let things happen here, okay? This may be, um, you guys may be dealing with a Pisces here, okay? Um, or you may have Pisces in your chart, but I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces here, okay? And a relationship may prove to be difficult with this Pisces. This Pisces may be a little secretive, um, uh, challenging to deal with here, okay? It's con uh, it confuses and softens and resolves. That's what the card is saying, okay? Some situation is very confusing with a Pisces that you guys are dealing with. The spirit is pulling you in a new direction here, Aquarius, um, to do something differently, possibly, okay? So they're saying apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear, all right? But they want you to focus on self-care. Some of you guys have Libra in your chart. And that's what I'm seeing back here, okay? Um, and it, this is about a relationship, your message here. that It is a hard decision to either let someone go or to have patience with a lover um, or love interest. That's what I'm seeing here. This could be a family member. Some of you guys are dealing with this well. Um, but they're saying seek harmony and balance in a relationship with the Libra energy that's coming in here, that this person will come in with an apology towards you. Um, I feel like you will be able to resolve an issue with someone. If you're dealing with a Libra or a Pisces, they, they like conversations. The Pisces like to be heard and understood, and they're a little bit more emotional than you guys are here, Aquarius. So um, it's going to... Don't, I don't feel like you're going to have to bend over backwards for this Pisces. Um, but I feel like you may have someone that is um, confused about their own emotions at times here. Okay. That's what I'm feeling um, in your reading. But they're wanting you to take care of yourself as well. Okay. Your card is saying self-care is not an act of selfishness. It is an act of consciousness. This card invites you to prioritize your own self-care. This may feel selfish to you, but in truth, when you can can attend to your own needs with love and care. You create an inner wealth that radiates into the world, impacting positively on all of that come in contact with you here. Okay, why is this Pisces or Libra or this person? Let's just say it that way. Apologizing here to Aquarius. Let's clarify this. What else would you like Aquarius to know? Okay, King of Cups energy is coming out. Ooh, there may be a separation for some of you guys here. Okay, a lot of communication, but I feel like it will be harsh. Uh, like you got someone that may be a little harsh here. Okay, um, or you may be dealing with a lover that's re not ready to settle down, and this is the um, a confession. Okay, I feel like this is a confession. That's what they're saying to me. Okay. And with the tower card, they're letting me know this is one block or obstacle moved out of your path here, okay? Like the person you're dealing with may not be ready to settle down or ready to give over their heart. And this is what they're communicating towards you, okay? That they want to be free um, of the relationship or the connection here, okay? And there will, will be an apology following this confession here okay but i feel like with the tower energy um there's a split there's a separation between you and someone else here it looked it felt like they wanted to work something out but the confession is is that they may not want to be connected um in this relationship here okay your card is saying support lean on your inner circle during this time okay 
Oh, yes, there's going to be a lot of heated conversations here, okay? Because I feel like your person definitely wants their freedom in some way. This person does not want to be tied down in a connection here, okay? Um, but they're talking about be brilliant. Be your brilliant self here, okay? Be great today, Aquarius. Be brilliant. This card asks you to get in touch with the extraordinariness of everyday living go about your daily life doing everything to the be very best of your ability be extraordinary in an ordinary way your brilliance will radiate into the world creating more change that you could possibly imagine and they want you to le lean on your support team here um during this change okay and don't forget how beautiful you are how brilliant you are okay and they're wanting me to remind you that you are a good partner and whatever you have to deal with in this situation that you did the very best that you could um but it's time to close a chapter okay for some of you guys it's time to close a cycle that's something else that i'm feeling here okay you got the mars energy coming behind this message so whoever you're dealing with this individual maybe a little harsh uh aggressive here with this uh mars energy okay um yeah they're fighting against the connection or or the changes that you want to see happening it feels like they're pushing back and you're gonna hear a lot of communication it may not be uh good communication either it may be a very tense a very tense moment or time that you're dealing with um with this person here okay but i feel like you are going to eventually release yourself from someone you have the eight of wands that's showing up here twice aquarius okay so some of you guys are really feeling feeling this energy of being alone or you feel like you are fighting alone at this moment okay and spirit wants you to take action in regards to taking care of your own energy and your own self they're wanting you to focus on change focus on movement here okay and focus on self-love and self-care like taking care of yourself here because uh, I feel like one partner is working harder than the other here, okay? Like you guys may be trying to work on this relationship and your person is not, whoever you're dealing with, they're not trying to put in that same energy here. So your spirit guides are seeing you go through this struggle. They see you being possibly overwhelmed by this energy and they're wanting to put you on another path, a, a, a fresh new start here, okay? And they want you to look at the situation differently here, okay? So so there's going to be illumination to this situation, apologies coming in, but ultimately you separating from someone with the tower energy that's coming in here. Okay, so you have the high priestess coming in as um, what you need to focus on here. Okay, you need to focus on your own energy. You need to focus on... Um, they're telling me your subconscious mind here your intuition here guiding you okay this could also be secrets that may be held from you that will come to light here that's something else that i'm feeling like some secret is coming to light what is going on here with aquarius in this high priestess card that's some whatever you're going to find out here aquarius will eventually uh, in the connection um, that you have with someone here. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is coming out. Oh my goodness. And a bunch of other cards, but we won't take all of those because they're all in a reverse. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to bring out the two that I have here. Okay. Um, the Empress is coming in the upright. The Six of Wands is coming in the upright as well. Okay, the Empress was crossing you here as well. Um, you have the Lover's card in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the Two of Swords here in reverse, the Page of Cups in reverse, the Sun card in reverse. So a lot of things have been oh, hidden from you here. The Page of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse. Everything is in reverse <laughs> that should be upright, right? Okay, um, but I feel like this is what's coming to light. You're not gonna deal with anyone that is being deceptive. Um, 
that doesn't truly show love towards you, okay? You have someone that may be emotionally immature with the Page of Cups here. In reverse, this may bring in a lot of disappointment here as well. You may see that your person is truly not wanting to give to the relationship, so they, they really lack in commitment. This is things you will find out about, okay? This person will apologize. Like, they don't want to hurt you, but they also want their freedom with that Mars energy that's coming in here, okay? So what's done in the dark will come to the light. You will know about this situation soon. But I feel like in some way it will definitely uh, set you free, okay? All the confusion and chaos that you felt intuitively, like you knew something was going on on intuitively all of that will come to the light for you here okay you will see exactly why a relationship or a connection did not work out the way that you hoped it would okay with the lover's card coming in reverse position here okay all right i feel like someone wants to keep their options open that's what it feels like here. Your person wants to keep their options open. So what you're leaving here in the past here, okay, it is an empty cup, okay? Um, and a lot of heartbreak and disappointment. That's what you're trying to leave in the past. And focus on healing yourself. I feel like that's what your spirit team is wanting you to do. Focus on your own healing because whoever you're dealing with lacks in compassion uh, towards a connection. Um, or commitment. They're lacking commitment here, okay? They're not ready to settle down. That's exactly what I felt here. Um, they're not ready for what you're ready for here, okay? So with the Queen of Swords crowning you, this is definitely your energy. Your spirit team is wanting you to make a clear decision here, okay? To clear your mind, clear your energy, not be judgmental here, but um, make make a move here okay that is going to align with your higher self okay queen of swords removes anything and anyone that does not resonate with her higher self here i say that a lot but that's what the queen of swords makes me feel like here okay um and you yourself here aquarius you can't be in um and control that's what i feel like your sp spirit team is letting me know okay choose what is best for yourself um, and if someone doesn't like what you are choosing, they're just going to have to deal with that energy here, okay? Because I feel like you're done putting up with uncertainty here, okay? There may be uh, a lot of um, arguments or uh, things said out of anger here, okay? Um, someone has a sharp tongue with the page of swords energy here in the future here okay but i feel like they're going to be spitting out a lot of truth as well with the page of swords telling you exactly what you need to know because the page of swords really clears the air is conversations that you will have with this individual that will whoever this person is could be a lover friend or family okay but these conversations will be straight to the point and will clear the air for you and bring clarity towards you so that you can make a more informed decision on your life okay so a lot of intense conversations uh will come up here in the near future that changes things in a relationship here okay yes it will hurt Okay, you will be disappointed in things that you're finding out about here. You may feel like uh, someone may have betrayed you with the Eight of Swords here. Some of you guys may uh, feel like you want to, I just see a turtle going into a shell. Okay, because you really trusted someone here, okay? But Spirit is definitely letting me know, don't let the situation uh, imprison you, okay? Uh, there's this need for you to really take control with the Queen of Swords, stand up for yourself, speak your truth, speak your mind here and do what's best for you. So a lot of you guys here, they're saying, um, if you try to put this behind you and keep moving forward with this person or in this situation here, it may prove to be quite difficult with the Eight of Cups, okay? Because someone, some of you guys are already feeling drained. You're already feeling unfulfilled in a connection um, or in a relationship here. So there's this need for you to seek out what really fulfills you here, okay? Um, 
with the Eight of Cups energy here. Some of you guys will be taking this action. You will have a change of heart in a relationship after finding out some secrets. And you'll start to do what's best for you, okay? Give towards yourself with the Six of Pentacles. Because there's a lack of balance in, um, in some situation that you're dealing with here, okay? I feel like... Um, this is just your energy of you giving to yourself. There may be some worry here, whether or not, like if you're in a committed relationship here, Aquarius, whether or not you're going to be able to financially provide for yourself. Will you have the money that you need to uh, go at it alone here, okay? Your card is saying redistribution. And the Six of Pentacles is about receiving finances or something monetary, okay, in regards to money. Um, so I feel like you will have the material comforts that you need if you have to do something alone, okay? If you have to separate from someone. Yes. <laughs> yes, they're saying that's truth. Okay, with the Ace of Swords, this is a new beginning for you. Okay, some of you guys will be relocating. That's what I'm feeling with the Ace of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. If you're wondering if you're going to be able to do this, make this very big move, the answer is yes with the Ace of Swords. It may be difficult. Nonetheless, it will be... Um, you will get exactly what you need here, okay? Spirit is letting me know you're ready to move forward with that Ace of Swords here, okay? So the Ten of Swords, you're feeling this in the future. You may look back and be like, darn it, I shouldn't have done that, okay? There's a lot of questioning here in the future whether or not your moves were right for you, okay? So I was saying in the beginning of your reading with the Tower Energy here that this is one more obstacle moved um, removed on your journey, okay, to self-love, okay, and love from a partner that will um, connect with you in a healthy way, okay, if you're looking for love in the future. And the Ten of Swords is letting me know this that this is definitely the ending of uh, defeat or you feeling defeated here, okay, and this is... Um, just an obstacle that is removed from your journey okay so take care of yourself at this time you don't have to look like that right it, you may feel the pain but it will not last this will uh you will heal this this pain over time if you allow yourself to do so don't shove it in the back of your mind really deal with your emotions up front um and if you have to express yourself do it do so okay but learn to fight battles that um that you need to fight okay oh, i'm just i feel like you should not seek revenge you should really let someone go or let some situation go here okay because i feel definitely with the tower card your spirit team is protecting you from something or someone here okay that may be um draining you emotionally or spiritually here okay all right, Aquarius, that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell, loves. I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.